Someone once said, if it rained brains, Roxy Robinson wouldn't even get wet. In all of New York, you couldn't get much dumber than Roxy the Weasel. To be frank, he was a dope. Dumb as Roxy was, he could smell trouble. Like other people could smell gas. We should never have taken that blind alley by the side of Perito's Bakery. Whatever game or where people were playing, sure as eggs are eggs, Roxy Robinson was well and truly scrambled. Now, the guy in the chair here is Flash Frankie, the best lawyer in New York. Sure, he's a little shady, but he's the best, believe me. Flash Frankie's silver tongue can get a guy out of jail quicker than a truckload of dynamite. Now, as you can see, something kind of fishy is going on here. I mean, the play's only just begun, and already the stage is full of stiffs. Oh yeah, you're most probably wondering who I am. The name's Malone. Bugsy Malone. He's a sinner, and he coded. All his friends, he always seems to be alone. But they love him, Bugsy Malone. A city slicker, he can charm you with a smile and a smile of his own.
With an Italian mother, an Irish father, I'll naturally grow up a little confused. But I didn't see much of a future at Spaghetti Waiter, at Mama Lugini's, or pushing a pen at City Hall. So I went from this and that, walking the line, trying hard not to fall either side. That is, one night, I walked into this place, Pop Beckett's Bookstore. Hey, how you doing? I'm Bugs Malone. Uh, you a singer? Uh, dancer, right? Oh, baseball player. Zip the lip, Wisey. I'm in no mood for conversation. You don't like me. Listen, Wisey. I'm surprised you're in stoop with all that dandruff on your shoulders. She's here about the audition, Bugsy. She's got a long wait. Every day they tell me to come back tomorrow. You might be wondering what kind of crazy place this is, with people b disappearing into bookcases. Well, firstly, this neighborhood ain't for dumb bums. And secondly, this bookstore ain't no bookstore. This is Fat Sam's place. Fat Sam's Grand Slam. Liveliest joint in town. Dandruff. Oh, don't worry. I had a shampoo since the last time we spoke. That bat could be classified as a dangerous weapon, you know. My mother made me pack it. You a sports nut? It's for protection, in case I get robbed. Uh, you're a singer, right? That depends on your taste in music. I'm here about a job. Did you get the job? They said, come back tomorrow. Oh, they always do. What's your name, anyway? Brown. <laughs> Sounds like a loaf of bread. Lousy Brown. Sounds like a stale loaf of bread. Keep your jokes behind your teeth, Wisey. Yeah, pleased to meet you. I'm Bugsy Malone. Freeze! Okay, everybody. It's okay. Nothing to worry about now. Back to tables. Razzmatazz. Music. Want to see everybody enjoying themselves. Free drinks on the house. Just a little excitement, that's all. No one can say fat sands is the liveliest joint in town. Knuckles, this means trouble.
interrupt this programme of music to bring you an important news flash. Reports coming in of a gangland incident on the Lower East Side involving a certain Robin Robinson, also known to the police as Roxy the Weasel, believed to be a member of the alleged gang mobster king Fat Sam Staccato. Robinson was a victim of a sensational event and we will go after a reporter on the spot for a... So, tell me how you allowed it to happen. Roxy was one of my best. What do you got to say for yourselves, you bunch of dummies? Knuckles, Ritzy, Angelo, Snake Eyes. Can you have hoodlums? You disgrace your profession, do you hear me? A disgrace. And most of all, you disgrace to me, Fat Sam. And we all knows behind all this, don't we? Sure, boss. a hat full of brains, you know that, do you? Sure, boss. We all know who's mucking us around, don't we? So who is it, you dummies? Damn, Don't you dare mention his name in this office! Uh, boss? About my audition? You said to come back tomorrow. Am I going mad? Am I just playing tricks on me? Come back tomorrow, Fizzy! But today is tomorrow, Mr. Sam. Fizzy, we'll get here! Break something! Try and break something, snake guys! I'll break your dumb neck! Dancers, dancers! I'm trying to buy Nambi, Pambi, dancers! Singers, piano players, banjo players, tin whistle players! But how many brains, you hear me? Brains! Brains and muscle! You got us, boss! You, your manure face! You, you great hunk of lard! Your trouble is, you have muscles where you all have brains! I tell you, my freaking eggs got more brains than you, dumb salami! So what's so funny? Can I give you a lift? You got a car? Uh, no. Then how are you gonna give me a lift, Buster? Put me in an elevator? It's a nice night. We can walk. Which way are you going? Which way are you going? Uh, this way. Then I'm going this way. Please let me carry a bag for you. You eating? Ever since I was a child. Then how come you're so skinny, Smarty? I watch my weight. Yeah, I do that when I'm broke too. You hungry? No. You're not hungry? No. Starving. You going back to speakeasy tomorrow? Uh, no. I'm going to try my luck at the Bijou Theatre. Ah, the Lena Morelli show. Yeah, she's walked out. They're looking for a replacement. Oh, she walks out every week. And every week they have auditions. And every week she comes back again. Oh, don't let me put you off. You won't. What do you do? Oh, this and that. Oh, crooked, huh? No, not quite. I find fighters, boxers. Used to be one myself. Pretty good, too. You were? Could have been a champion. <laughs> you could? But for a couple of things. Like what? Like jelly legs and glass jaw. <laughs> Some champion. I do well for a couple of rounds. Bro, I was as tough as a ball of cotton wool. This jaw has more, more glass in it than Macy's window. One punch was enough to send me back to the dressing room, generally on a stretcher. They'd slap my face and bring out the smelling salts. Then I'd come round kidding myself. It was a lucky punch. How many of times can it be a lucky punch? So I wised up before my face looked like a plate of mashed potato. I could have been a contender, Charlie. Uh, we'll have two banana boozles with double ice cream, chocolate sauce, and nuts. Uh, two Arizona donuts and a Coke with two straws. Freeze! We can't go on meeting like this. Now get this news desk. There's been a frightfully bad show with America Chaps, and this time the Yanks have gone too far. And what's more, stiff no cricket. And as I speak, there's a pitch battle going here, and. Oh, 
funny doll she set off. I was enjoying that. I have to concentrate, Princess. There's some business to attend to. Mr. Brock's Charlie and Company are here, sir. You ain't gonna play no more, honey. Later, my Rose. Later. Show them in. Quickly, come on. I haven't got time. Hi, boys. Okay, relax. I'd like to take this opportunity for thanking you for all your work so far. Everything's gone swell. Just swell. Thanks, boss. That sends in for quite a shock. Wrong Charlie. Laughing boy. Shoulders. Yonkers. Vanilli. Soon Fat Sam will be crawling on his knees to me. Where is my phone, boss? Soon all Fat Sam will have is the clothes he stands up in and his suitcase flower, full of memories. I don't have a flower, boss. You goof doodle, you drop the gun. And I don't allow mistakes in this outfit, because mistakes can cause us all the caboose. And Sing Sing ain't my style. It just slipped on my hand, boss. Button your lip, doodle. <sighs> Hit it, Kev! <laughs> Knock it off or change your name. Tallulah, are you ready yet? How much longer do you want us to wait? Coming, honey. You don't want me looking a mess, do you? Uh, boss, about my audition? Later, Fizzy. I'm busy right now. Keep practicing. I'll see you tomorrow. I promise you tomorrow. But yesterday you said tomorrow. Tallulah, you spend more time putting yourself up this time of the day. Listen, honey, if I didn't look this good, you wouldn't give me the time of day. I'll see you in the car. Don't do that, Knuckles. Night, Fizzy. Tomorrow, tomorrow's far away. Tomorrow, a 
as they say is reserved for dreams Tomorrow Tomorrow's looking great A playground always loved Trains no winning team I won't take no for an answer I was born to be a dancer Anyone who feels a river moving through I'm not just gonna do I'm good to let the music bust out When you feel assured Let the people know And let you laugh to loosen to your scream Because the love show the great Marbini. I have been privileged to obtain second billings in theatres in Missouri, Polo Bluff and Norfolk, Nebraska and I will now perform for your trick seen before only by the crowned heads of Europe. From this hat I will produce not one rabbit, not two rabbits, but three rabbits. I'd wish they hurry up. I'm getting nervous waiting. Oh, quit worrying, will you? I can count on this many people. Oh, these are a bunch of conjurers and magicians by the looks of it. You've got no competition, believe me. How do I look? You look great. I look a wreck. You'll have to pass the driving test. Oh, well, hello, everybody. Well, how are you, Clarence? Don't ask. I suppose you're wondering why we're here. You bet. Next! What does he mean? Doesn't he like us? I punch the sucker on the nose. <laughs> Bam! Right in the kisser. What a ding dong. Can't believe I missed the World Cup for this. <laughs> Blousy Brown, singer. Delight, honey, delight. Sorry, Mr. DeBelt, I didn't catch that. Blousy, Blousy Brown, singer. Cheer up, will ya? There's millions of other jobs. Sure, in the street corner where the hat to catch the dimes in. So it's a matter of time. Just cool down, will ya? I've been walking the streets of New York for six months now, and the only fancy steps I've done so far is avoid the man who collects the rent. So it takes time for your movie star. We can just 
We can just come back tomorrow. Come back tomorrow. Come back tomorrow. Spend my whole life coming back tomorrow. Well, cool down, Blousy. I will not cool down. I will not. There's always Fat Sam's place. He won't see me. I'll talk to him. You know? Yeah, we're like that. We're good friends. No, it's just whenever I talk to him, I cross my fingers that he won't hit me. <laughs> We interrupt that commentary on tonight's exciting Red Sox sport game to bring you a further bulletin and development on the outbreak of hoodlum gang warfare. Please now officially state the weapon of devious foreign manufacturer known as the splurge gun. It is being widely used around the mobs gangs. We interrupt our interruption to go straight over to a reporter, Seymour Scoop, who is at the spot at the latest splurging. Have you located the splurge gun yet, Lieutenant? I'm afraid I can't answer that. Now, liberty to say. No, I don't know the answer. Have you located the source yet, Lieutenant? Sure, I'm a hamburger for lunch. No, the source of the gun. Oh, yeah. Uh, no. Uh, I mean, I'm not liberty to say. You have to ask Captain Sports to get tested. Okay, OG, you break this crowd up. This is police business, some police business we gotta do. Uh, Seymour Scoop, RPZ Radio. Have you located the splurge gun yet? No comment. Have you located the source? No comment. Is it true the gun's only been used by one gang? No comment. I fix you pass on your right hand, Chief. No comment. Get out of here. Okay, we know there are five guys here. What else did you see? Nothing. I see nothing. Well, you must have seen something. Nothing. Honestly, Mr. Scott, I see nothing. I came on the boat just this year. I got papers. I, okay, I just listen to music and mind own business. I no need cement overcoat. Captain, I found something. What is it, Jerry? A brush, Captain. No, what have you found? A footprint, Captain. What type of footprint? A big footprint, Captain. Knucklehead! I send you on a six-month finger because and all you can tell me is that's a big footprint. I knew the brain is too party. As you can probably gather, Moleskine or Dreary have as much chance of solving this case as I have of becoming the President of the United States. And as for Sam, well, he's definitely getting a little nervous. I mean, if you had a gang of dumb bums, You'd be nervous. We could have been everything that we wanted to be, but don't admit your heart blood that we decided. Eyes, you bunch of peanut brains! 
Get up here! Pronto! Snap it! Get your legs moving in this direction! Quit throwing the dice, Nick, guys. I'm quick cracking the knuckles, Knuckles. Sorry, boss. I swear I'm trying to buy a bunch of nervous wrecks. Right, let's start at the beginning. We're being outsmarted by that greasy lounge, is it, right? Right, boss. And we're gonna get right back on top, right? Right back on top, boss. We're gonna kick that drug store cowboy right in the line. You bet, boss. Sure, we've been in the sofa, Mark, but when it comes to crunch, no, dumb bums we ain't. No, no dumb bums, bums we ain't. Now I'm gonna tell you, Knuckleheads, where we're going wrong. Louis, scan this wall. Who, me, boss? Are oh, you shake down, Louis? The same Shakedown Louis he used to be called Harvey Spleen Decker before I give you the name Shakedown Louis? That's me, boss. And standing against the wall, Porridge Brain. Knuckles, hand me the can. The can, boss? What did I do wrong? Tell me, talk to me, boss. What did I do wrong? Did nothing, Louis. Nothing. See what I mean? Missed. Okay, Louis, you can sit down now. See? Even a dumb mug like Louis is too quick for us. That's the root of our trouble. We're behind the times. I don't get it, boss. Knuckles, we're never going to get back on top with this kind of hardware. It's old-fashioned, obsolete, defunct. In short, we gotta get ourselves that gun. Hello, Sam. Yeah, stop Gavin. I have no case in the garden. Spill, Shady, spill. Do you know someone's working on On E14 Street? Thanks, Shady. I'll see you okay. Good boy. This is good news. I'll be sending my boys. Good work, Shady. You've earned your money. Thank you, Dan Jan. Sam's boys are in for quite a party. Now get out of here. So does this one thing I can't decide. It's a two-time canary. Running a railway or shooting a horse. Sam ain't gonna like this, honey. He ain't gonna do nothing about it. Without his gang, Sam's like like a tortoise without his shell. <laughs> Soon he'd be thrown in in the towel. Gang? Everybody? Louis, Snake Eyes, and Ritzy? I don't believe it. I I just don't believe it. There's the whole gang gone, Knuckles. You hear me? Splurge. They leave just you and me, Knuckles. Just you and me. We're on our own. What are we gonna do, boss? Don't do that, Knuckles. How many more times I gotta tell you? We do nothing. We act like nothing's happened. Carry on as normal. Tutu casa, sono bono. You don't speak Italian? So you call yourself a hoodlum and you don't even speak Italian? No, boss, I'm Jewish. <laughs> we relax, we play it cool, carry on as normal. Go see what it is, Knuckles. Act normal. We're off from the audition. Come back tomorrow, lady. He's busy. No, wait, honey, wait! We act normal, right? So acting normal means acting normal. We'll be right there, honey. Go make yourself comfortable. We'll be a couple of minutes. Go powder your nose or something. See? Just like normal. 
That way, they won't know we're scared to death. We're uh, scared that we're concerned. Come over here, Knuckles. We buy ourselves a little time, thinking time. Right, Knuckles? I'm gonna send for someone to help us out in our predicament. No ten cent dummy, a specialist. Doctor? No, not a doctor, you Billberry, a hoodlum. Well, we was the This guy's no dumb bums, Knuckles. He's the real McCoy. Looney Bugazi? The very same. Mad as hell. Off his Charlie Bugazi. Right, here's what we do. We arrange a meeting with Dandy Dan. Bugazi will be in the back of the car. Next to me, you drive. Right, but I don't drive. You don't drive? You mumped your head. Oh, hello? Is this Danny Dan's residence? I'd like to speak to himself, please. This is Sam Sketto. Don't ask him what it's about, fella. He'll know me. You don't drive? Then we gotta get ourselves a driver. Hello? Hi, Sam. What can I do for you? I want to meet you, Dan. Do a little talking. Where? East Chester Park, five ways, at Lexburg and Denver. You hear me? Yeah, I hear you. But you come alone. No hoods, mind. No hoods, Dan. You have my word. What's he talking about? Don't bring your hoods. You wiped it all my hoods. Just you and me and our drivers. Agreed. Got him the knucklehead. Garden salami. Oh, hey, Fizzy. Hi, Bugsy. Uh, how are you doing? Still practicing? Still practicing. Uh, have you seen Blousy around? I thought she'd be here for her audition. Oh, she was here. She went to go get some air. She left her bag, so I guess she's coming back. Thanks, Fizzy. Suddenly, everybody was being show business. Oh, hey, Tallulah. He's busy, Bugsy. Why didn't you have a drink while you're waiting? Why not? I was special on the rocks. Hiya, Bugsy. Hi, Bugsy. Hey, girls. Go feed the ducks, girls. Oh, oh Tallulah. Tallulah. I said beat it. Long time no see, Bugsy. Oh, you know how it is. You used to come see me every night. I've been busy. Doing what? Oh, this and that. Fizzy, will you quit the sweeping and hit the shoe leather? Yes, ma'am. You're racist, Bugsy. You know I've always found you kind of special. Careful, Tallulah. You're racing my motor. Give the girl a break, Bugsy. You sure you got the right guy? You're not like all those other saps. I'm not. You got lovely brown eyes. Yeah, I'll be a lovely black guy if that Sam catches Come on, us. sugar. Have a smear my lipstick. Careful, Tallulah. If you come any closer, I'll have to call my lawyer. So call him. Oh, uh, Blousy, uh, I was looking for you. Hush your mouth, jerk. Okay, honey, I'm all ears. I'm feeling fine, filled with emotion, stronger than wine. They may give me the notion that they Very nice, very nice. A little bit too contemporary for my taste, but all the same. Very nice. You're hired. That was great, Bowsy. Real great. But what's the matter with you? I can explain all that to Lula Smoochin. Bugsy, Bugsy. How'd you like to earn yourself some green stuff? You talk about cabbage. What's a catch? No catch. This is your job driving. Straightforward driving. No one you, Sam. Are we ducking and driving? How much? Two hundred. Cents? No, dollars. Dollars? Sounds like dangerous driving. Nah, sure might get a little hot, but you don't get $200 for driving a milk truck, Bugsy. Yeah, you got yourself a driver. Good boy, good boy. Knuckles, fix me a drink, will you? Things are shaping up real fine. I'm getting real thirsty. Blood thirsty. Oh, uh, hey, Bangles, is Blousy there? She won't see you, Bugsy. She's mad. She was holding a torch for you high in the Statue of Liberty. Yeah, okay, okay. Tell him I'm sick. You're sick? Yeah, sick of waiting. I'll see what I can do, but don't count on it. Beat it, YZ. Look, I'll buy you some flowers. I'll see till you look at them. And stop being so smart, okay? They're for you. Look, I have to go. Okay, see you later. Yeah, like ten years later. I got a job. You don't get paid for standing in bread lines, Buster. No, a legit job. We'll have enough money to go to the coast of Hollywood. Sure, I'll believe it when I see it. Two minutes, everybody! Look, I have to go. Blousy, trust me. Sure. I know, I know. Never trust anyone that says trust me. I wanted to buy the tickets. 
But first, I had to help Fat Sam and Looney. Looney Berganzi. Man, when they said he was off his trolley, they weren't kidding. Quick, Bugsy, here he comes. Is he along? Yeah, it looks like he's just standing in the driver. Okay, Looney, get ready. Looney. Looney! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Keep your head down. Keep out of sight. Wait till I give you the okay, right? What can I do for you, Sam? How about a small dose of straight talk, Dan? Suits me. You've been taking liberties, Dan. I've been taking what's mine. Trouble is, it belongs to me. Too bad possessions is 19th of the law, Sam. Now hold on, Dan. I'm sure we can talk this over sensibly. After all, we've been in this game a long time. You and me. And I'm a businessman. <laughs> You're a dime dozen gangster, Sam. You button your lip, mister. I don't like your mouth. I have to have some respect. You'd slit your own throat for do two bits plus tax. You keep your wisecracks behind your teeth, mister. Keep talking. I have my position to think of. Right now, you position it into a plug nickel. You dirty rat, then. You've been watching too many movies, Sam. Okay, Looney, let him have it. Quick, you get time. Let's get, get, let's get out of here. Great, Bugsy. You did great. Here's two hundred dollars and a hundred extra for your quick thinking. Gee, thanks, Mr. Stagato. Treat yourself to a new suit. Get rid of that laundry sack you're wearing. Here's the name of my tailor. Thanks, Mr. Stagato. Think nothing of it. My pleasure. Right now, let's get out of here. You know what they 
they say No one's of heaven's gonna treat you finer Tallulah had a training in North Carolina Yeah, sure, I'll get her. Blousey is for you. Send him, my love. Hello? Hey, Blousey, it's Bugsy. Where are you? Oh, around. Listen, I can't talk right now, but I just want to say I made 200 bucks. You mean you printed it yourself? No, I earned it. Swear to God. I don't believe you. You're putting me on. It's the honest truth. Who for? Uh, Sam. Fat Sam give you two hundred dollars. And the loan to his sedan for the afternoon. I don't believe you. You're putting me on. Look, get yourself out of the Grand Slam in ten minutes. Look for a snazzy sedan and a good-looking driver. And you'll see there's a very close resemblance to yours truly, okay? Okay, but you better not be putting me on, Buster. I'm gonna swear down. I'm on the level. So long. Sort of. I'm giving up, guys. They're nothing but trouble, believe me. From now on, I'm looking for husbands, and I ain't getting too attached. I'm gonna change him regular like a library book. What do you think of my dress, Tilly? Don't you think I look cute? I don't know, it's... Come on, Dottie, what do you think? I don't know, Bangles. I think the color's wrong. What are you talking about? Purple's my color. I always wear purple. Yeah, they match the veins in your legs. <laughs> Maybe it's the length. It's the latest length. I read it in a magazine. Maybe it's the frills. They stick out too much. Yeah, they match yours. You're just jealous. Can I help it if my looks are ahead of my time? They're, They're what? what? Full of personality, character, kind of earthy. Yeah, like a bucket of mud. Onions, ketchup without. Ketchup without. Do you really have two hundred dollars? Nope. Oh yeah, you lied. No, I have one hundred ninety-eight dollars and ten cents. I suppose two hot dogs. You didn't do anything crooked, did you? Oh, of course not. I just helped Mr. Samuel with a little predicament. That's all. Oh, I nearly forgot. What's this? A finger bowl? It's a present, dummy. For me? Well, I didn't buy for the audience. Oh, Bugsy, it's wonderful, fantastic. What is it? It's a postcard. Look, all of Hollywood stars. Oh, if I could only get to Hollywood. You can. Oh, sure. I've heard that one before, wise guy. On the front row of the Roxy on East 38th Street. No, really. Get to Hollywood. Well, you want me to leave? No. Keep talking. Right. I have $198.10 left. Right. What does that buy? Uh, 440 hot dogs. No, two tickets, stupid. Two tickets? On the Super Chief. <laughs> the Super Chief? The train, stupid, to Hollywood. Think about it. I've been in fine, filled with emotion, stronger than wine. They give me the notion that this strange feeling is something that you're feeling too. Two tickets. Two tickets. Matter of fact, I want to admit it. Caught in the act, and maybe we've hit it. If this strange feeling is something that you're feeling too. So what's the answer? Do you honestly think it would be anything but yes? Oh, Bugsy. Oh, yeah. Knock it off, will ya? You're putting me on. No, it's the honest truth. It's just, I don't get this damn back to Fat Sam. My face will look like yesterday's better sheet. Aha! I think I found something. Come and take a look at this, O'Dreary. 
You cracked it this time, Captain Smolsky. I have? Tell me what you see, dearie. Tell me what you see. Your foot, Captain. Not my foot, knucklehead. Under my foot. Tire marks. Oh, that's a tire marker, right, Captain? Too right is a tire mark, you Irish potato head. Get some plaster. We'll take a mold. There ought to be more marks somewhere. There are sure as eggs is eggs. More than one sedan around here. Uh, hey, what's this? <gasps> Gee, Captain, I'm sorry. I didn't see you there. Honestly, I didn't. You dumb potato face, I reject! I just slipped. I'm sorry, Captain. It was an accident, honestly. If I catch you on Jerry, I'm gonna punch this stupid Irish nose back to Tipperary! You sure it's gonna work, boss? Of course it will, Knuckles. Don't crack your knuckles. Makes me nervous. Of course it'll work. It looks like a spurred gun, doesn't it? Uh, doesn't it? Yeah, sure. Anything Dandy Dan can do, Fat Sam can do better. Am I right or am I right? You're right, boss. Okay, right. You ready, Knuckles? I'm ready. Okay, get set. I'm set. And fire! Missed. Back to the drum, Bob Knuckles. Knuckles! Speak to me. Knuckles? Knuckles! I'll get you this, you greasy lounge. Who's, who's the type of doesn't get to now? Dan? Poor Knuckles. As you can see from this mess here, things are looking kind of untidy for Fat Sam. And as for Knuckles, well, he definitely cast his chips in. As for Smolsky, well, he started out with the intentions of chasing O'Dreary back to County Court. What he forgot is that he had quick dry and plaster poured all over him. And soon he looked like one of those dudes you would occasionally pull out of the East River. Anyway. Hello? Is anybody there? Oh, are you hurt? Hello? Mister? Yeah, 200 bucks, 90 cents less. I sure nice of you to help me like that. Oh, but it was nothing. You must be a fighter, right? Nope. You're not? Well, that's the best punch I've ever seen. It was nothing. You ever been coached? Nope. You ever thought about taking it up? I mean, professionally? Mm, never thought about it. You haven't? Never had the chance. I know someone that can help you. You heard of KG Joe? Nope. Uh, you're a sluggish Jim? You don't know much, do you? No. Put it there, Leroy. You got yourself a manager. Hey, KG Joe. Hi, Bugsy. How you been, man? Swell, KG Joe. Real swell. And you? For me, yeah. With this bunch of punch bags and pits. KG Joe, I want you to meet the next heavyweight champion, Leroy. Meet KG Joe, KG Joe. Meet Leroy Smith. Ever been in the ring before, boy? Uh, no. Do you want to be a boxer, huh? No. Of course he does. Look at those mitts. You ever seen such fists? Hit it, Leroy. What's your name again, kid? Leroy Smith. Yeah, with you showing him the ropes, he'll be a champion in no time. All right, I'll give him a try. But I'll tell you now, he'll be no good unless he's got it. It? What is it? It. There's a difference between being a no good, hopeless slugger, and being a champion. It's what makes a fighter special. If you haven't got it, then you haven't got it. So you 
wanna be a boxer in a golden ring? Can you punch like a southbound freight train? Tell me just one thing. Can you move in a world in a Hummersburg wing if you need to? Ooh, that's right. Can you bob, can you weave, can you fake and deceive when you need to? Well, you might as well quit if you haven't got it. So you wanna be a boxer, wanna pass the test. I can tell you got it in you, I've trained the best. When you work and you sweat and you bet that you buzz to a chainsaw. See? Then you need to lose your mind and you find that your boy is a glass door. Well, you might as well quit if you haven't got it. Put him in the ring, go, the punch is found. Bring him in the fun job, push him in the round, push him up with the ropes and destroy his hopes. Put him in the ring, go, give him a high chance. Let him have a swing, go, we can make that. Go pump him to bits, then he'll call him quits for sure. No. Wanna be a boxer, wanna be the champ There's a golden boy inside you, not a punched out tramp If you listen and you learn, there's honor you can earn to defend you But when you do see the crown, you're a king, not a clown, a contender But you might as well quit, if you haven't got it Put him in the ring, throw something in the punch Let me have a swing, throw, let me go lunch make it quite sweet. It's still not the chest pillow racket. Oh no, pick it, get round here right away. I don't care how busy you are, you get round here right away. Hello? Not the grocery rack. Oh, okay, I'm sure you did all you could. Go home and get washed up. There's a whole empire gone, Sula. You hear me? Everything. They'll be coming here next. There's only one thing for it. You gotta get them to help me. Who, the Lone Ranger? No, you dumb Dora. Bugs him alone. Call him. I'm in trouble. Real trouble. And all I got for company is a female comedian. No answer. I want you to go ask him for help personally. Personally? Personally. Personally. So long, little boy. Blousey? Oh, it's you, Tallulah. What are you doing here? Call the service down, Tiger. Let's talk up. I've got a message for you. What's wrong with the Western Union? Don't flirt yourself, Tiger. I know what I'm going to see with Sam. Come on, let's go for a spend those drugs. I'm waiting for someone. 
Lousy. We're going to Hollywood. I'll be right there. Good humming, Fizzy. Makes me edgy. Sure, boss. Joe, fix me a special on the rocks. What's so funny? You find me amusing? You find my suit comical, perhaps? Yeah, it's kind of droopy, ain't it? Yeah. In fact, very droopy. very droopy. Here, hold it a minute, will you? It needs water. Don't ever let me see you laughing at me again, or I'll ram that smile down your throat. I'm Fat Sam, number one man, top dog, Mr. Big. Always have been, always will be. Careful, boss. The floor's wet. You, you no good boom pussy hoofer. I'll pick them up of your head. You, you, you. Oh, hi, Bugsy. Glad you could make it. How have you been? Fine, Mr. Gatto. And you? Oh, a little difficulty at the moment. Please, call me Sam. Why don't you pull up a chair and sit down? To little honey, fix him a drink, will you? What's your pleasure, Bugsy? I'll have a special on the rocks. Bugsy, I need your help. Danny Dan's beating down my neck. And any day now, he would be taking over my entire organization. We still got all this. Not if Dandy Dan gets his day. I won't have a dime for a shoe shine. Nothing. Not a red cent. There we go. One special on the rocks. Uh, Tulun, honey, go fix your makeup. I've already fixed it. Then go and make yourself more beautiful than you already are. But you know that's impossible. Lula. Okay, I'll go manicure my gloves. Bugsy, I need help. I'm in a jam. My gang's gone, my friends don't want to know me, I'm a wreck. In short, I need you. Me, Sam, but why me? He's got brains up here, not pretzels. No rough stuff, it ain't my line. Help me, I'll give you $200 to go with the 200 I already gave you. Impossible. Thought you were smart? No, impossible. I lost the last 200. You lost 200 bucks? On a horse? No, I got mugged. Too many dishonest people around these days, Bugsy. The hoodlum ain't safe walking the streets. Here. 200 green ones, and 200 for the extra you lost. Do you have a deal? I got a deal. Hello, is Bugsy there, please? Yeah, sure, I'll get a few, honey. Bugsy's for you. Uh, excuse me, Mrs. Ghetto. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead, Bugsy. Take it in my office. Treat this place as your own. Phone home, phone Europe, phone wherever you like. After all, Danny Dan gets his way, he'll be paying the phone bill. <laughs> Hello? Bugsy, is that you? What are you doing there? We stay at 30 and you're an hour late. Someone came up. Like what? Like business. Oh yeah, with Tallulah. No, not with Tallulah. Did you get the tickets? Uh, no, not yet. I Bugsy, told you. you promised me, you promised me. I told you, someone came up. An hour I've been waiting here, Bugsy, and when you first didn't show up, I gave you the benefit of the doubt, and then I got nervous and called every pool hall dive in their phone book. They hadn't seen you, but boy, did they all know you. Get off, Tallulah. You rat! You two-timing bug Irish me bow up! Seems I 
Leroy! Hey! Leroy! Come on, Leroy! Wake up, Leroy! It's Bugsy, Leroy. We got a job. Well, you got me cracker tied already. No, this is a different kind of job. I'm tired, Bugsy. Come back in the morning. In yeah? the morning, it'll be too late. Uh, we'll be working for Fat Sam's to ghetto. Uh, you'll be punching Dandy Dan where it hurts. Uh, now there's 200 bucks in it for you. I'll do it. Come on, you guys. This place is like a morgue. Let's have a little optimism here. How about some music? We're not on proper row yet. Oh, hi, Blousey. Thought you was on your way to the coast. It fell through. Oh, shame. Tough. Mr. Staccato, do you think I could have my job back? Sure, honey. Go right in. The more the merrier. Yeah, the Statue of Liberty. Look, I'm inside of the truck. Okay. What, you can't read? Uh, no, just a little short, short sign. What's it say? It says, Splurge Import, Dark 17. This must be where they keep the guns. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold your horses. There must be a dozen guards. Yeah, look, two on the front, two on the side, and two on the top. What are we going to do, Leroy? Uh, go home? No, there must be another way in. Don't be stupid, Bugsy. We may have a slug away through that now. I guess you're right. We need an army to get through. Uh, no arms up here, Bugsy. What's that? What? Listen. Just sit around complaining about the way your life has wound up. Think of all the times you waste and times a precious thing to let roll by. Sure, you hit the bottom, but remember you'll be building from the ground up. Every day's another step that leads you even closer to the sky. So give it a try. You don't have to sit around depressed about the way that luck deceives you. Fortune sailed away, you missed the boat and found that you'd be left behind. Fight and fight some more until you know the world is ready to receive you. Lady luck is fecal, but a lady is allowed to change your mind. have to sit around complaining about the way your life is wound up. So be a man, you know you can't be certain that you lose until you try. You 
You don't have to sit around complaining about the way your life is wound up. So be a man, you know you can be certain that you lose until you try to give it a try. Are you with me? Yeah! Then let's go! Look, there they are, all ready for the take-in. Get babyface. Give this to Babyface. Give this to Babyface. No thanks. Get out there, Babyface. Let's get out here. I'm on you guys, don't think I'm bluffing. I'll be coming in now and you guys get what's coming for you. Nine, ten. We're going in. Never you ready, Captain. Ten. Ten. Ready? Now. Okay, gang. This is the this is the captain that's going to take the lid of City Hall. This is the big one. The big one. The shakedown. Shakedown. The payoff. The payoff. It's got to be good. It's got to be neat. It's got to be quick. Quick to be neat. Quick to what I say. Anyways, you shouldn't have any trouble. It's only Sam and a few dance ball girls. When you remember, when you get inside the speakeasy, keep those fingers pumping. Because for history, you'll be writing. Useless. Too kind, too kind, guys. Now for Fat Sam's Grand Slam. Right, Leroy, Babyface, make sure you're hidden. Lousy, you're yes, gonna get out of the way or else I'll take someone else to Hollywood. Sure, Lousy. Two tickets to Hollywood. Oh, Bugsy. Right. Right, everybody act normal. Girls, get up there. Razzmatazz, hit the ivories. Anybody who is, anybody who will soon walk through that door. At that time, stand, stand, speak easy. Always here to find you a table and room for just one more. At that time, stand, stand, speak easy. Each night 